This video content is strictly for educational purposes only. All demonstrations, techniques, and information provided in this video are meant to help you understand cybersecurity better. We strongly advise against using any of this information for illegal activities or unethical practices. Please like, subscribe, and comment. You know, I was sitting here and I was going through and I just got done with the video that I believe will come out in the next day or two for YouTube with Medusa. But I was thinking to myself, you know, we went through and we showed Hashcat and I showed how to use Hashcat and, and to identify your hashing and correlate it to a password. But I missed a golden opportunity. And that golden opportunity was to show you why salting is so important in our hashes and why we can use salting to really kind of defend against hashing attacks or rainbow table attacks like is what Hashcat does. And so I thought to myself, you know what we should do? I should create a video that shows not only what salting is, but how it defeats something like Hashcat. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use Hashcat, but we're going to do some salting on the password as well. So let's get started right off the bat with that. I want to jump into it from the perspective that we need to do some new Linux commands. We did SHA-256-SUM. Uh, anybody that's done any type of, of integrity or hashing, they probably know that command. But did you know we could do an echo? Let's do an echo today and let's come up with a new password, right? So I want to come up with a new password. Uh, obviously, I want it to be hackable, right? Because we, we want to prove that it works. <coughs> Excuse me. So common passwords. Let's pick a new one today. Uh, more items. I can't believe somebody used this one, two, three as their password. That floors me. Every time I look at this password list, it just floors me with how irresponsible so many people are with their passwords. Here's a good one. Let's do admin123. I'm going to use admin123 as our password for today. All right, let's do an echo. We're going to do attack n, and then we have to identify the password. We said admin123, just like that. After we do that, we need to pipe it. That is a shift backslash for those that are missing it. And then we need to identify the hash value that we want to associate with it. I like SHA-256. I do. I'm going to do SHA-256 sum. Got to throw that sum in there. Uh, and let's hit enter. That'll give us that hash value right there. I'm going to grab that right there. I'm going to grab that. And then let's open up a leaf pad. So leaf pad, and I'm just going to name it passwords, just like that. I should have added a, a text onto it, but I didn't. All right, that's one right there. That is that is the associated. Let's, let's save that, right? But let's do a new password. Let's do assault. Now, for those that don't remember what assault is, assault is taking a random assortment of letters, numbers, or special characters and adding it on to a password. And it's random, right? So we're gonna do echo just like we did before. Tack in, we're gonna do that same admin 123. And then we need to add some random assortment. So I'm just gonna do a capital T, a lowercase x, a two one exclamation mark, and then an at sign just like that. We're gonna close that off. We're gonna pipe it and we'll do an MD5 sum just like that. Not an MD5 sum, a SHA-256 sum just like that. And let's see, uh, it doesn't like my at sign. I, don't, I think it doesn't like the, it doesn't like the, well, I bet it's, I don't think it's the at sign. I think it's the exclamation mark. It did show up in blue on me. So we'll try it that way. Uh, and there we go, okay. So we've got this other one right here. Now we added the salt to it. So let's see, I'm going to copy selection. Let's go right back into our leaf pad for passwords. I'm gonna add it onto the next line, control V. We have two SHAs now. Now I wanna point this out, right? We have two two hashes, two, uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. I can't talk today. Two of our same uh, strength SHAs, 256 hashes, I cannot talk, All right? And so they're completely different. One, the bottom one's got our, our hash value to it. The other one does not. I feel like we may have some problems with this in our lab. I feel like I need to correct myself. Well, no, we don't. No, we don't. I think we'll be fine. Let's do it. Let's save it. Okay, we're going to save that. And now let's get back into Hashcat and make this thing work. So just like before, we're going to do a hash ID, right? We're going to do that tack M to correlate it to a specific hash. And then we need to use the document. Uh, just this one is just passwords, just like that. And we can see here that it's showing up and it's saying, you know what we think, and it's providing both passwords. This one, 
and then this one, and it's saying both of them are most likely uh, shot. Now we've already shown the other one, but let's go into it. Let's let's tackle this right now. Of course, we need to actually run the program. So we've identified it that it is very much inside that SHA-256 realm with the 1400. So again, we're just gonna do hash cat just like we did in the last lab. We're gonna do attack M1400 just like so. Attack A, zero for a direct route. We need to identify the file we wanna do, which is passwords just like so. That's gonna give us our uh, uh, file that we wanna attack and then downloads just like so, forward slash rockyou.txt. And what we're doing here is we're saying, because my rockyou.txt file is not in this directory, I need to reference it. And so I'm referencing it from the downloads directory, and then I'm identifying the text file that I'm after. And so let's, ha let's see what happens, right? So, let's so we've ran this uh, a password attack, this hashing, this cracking of the hashes, I should say, and we can see if we scroll down a little bit that it did in fact find it. We can see the hash available for the SHA-256 and it found it, the password was admin123, but if we scroll down, it did not find the second one. It's unable to find it because we properly salted it. So we can see that salting actually does in fact provide us a little bit more security from these types of attacks where somebody gets into our database and they're able to find those password files and they're able to find those hashes that the regular password, even if it's weak, by simply adding a salt to it, we can thereby better protect our consumers, our clients, so on and so forth. So there we have it, that is Hashcat, that is utilizing Hashcat with a salt to show and prove that it does in fact work. Until next time, my name is Dr. K. If you found this to be educational, please like, subscribe, and ring that little bell right there, just in case you can see extra content. We'll see you next time. Thank you everyone.